Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs here. I'm your old composer here, and I am on the World Music Reviews and Reactions. And as I continue down the rabbit hole of video game and anime uh, OSTs, I have for you, through the huge list of suggestions I got from that community post, um, I decided to pull from one. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm going to be doing it uh, a song called Izio's Family? Izio? Um, Jasper's Kid. So I think maybe maybe Jasper was the composer. I should have done a little homework, but I don't, because I don't. Uh, this is from the video game Assassin's Creed. And uh, this has been a fantastic dive. You guys, I've already been kind of fully rinsing on this already. As a matter of fact, this is getting so intense that I might do like I do on my heavy metal channel, where I'll put out a poll and then get us maybe, you know, to zero in on some things too, because there's such a broad, uh, expansive, um, cross of uh, uh, musical genres actually that I'm finding out in video games um, from heavy metal to pure EDM style to hybrid orchestral works and, and live and all kinds of stuff and then come to find out that there were songs that were produced by artists or instrumentalists that actually go into the uh, video games too so all right guys thank you so much for your patience through that long intro I got my cup of coffee please if you do decide to uh, support the channel <coughs> excuse me the advertisement I don't get any money. Want to buy me a cup of coffee? The links are down below. All right, guys, let's do this. This is uh, from the video game Assassin's Creed, and the name of this track is Ezio's Family. All right. Okay, I gotta stop somewhere here. This buildup of the pattern that they establish is so wonderful but haunting and heavy. I don't know where in the video game this piece sits or what does it represent. See, that's the unique thing about what I'm doing here is I'm listening to the music and not having any uh, understanding or idea of what it's married to in the scene of this video game. Um, I love, at the very beginning, opening up very softly, but there's this little, like, harp-sounding arpeggiation that's going. And it, it's establishing this kind of what I would call a through performance, at least to this point, that I'm hearing, that even though there are some chord changes, that particular arpeggiation actually hangs through all the changes. So when the piano comes in and you hear the lower part of what the piano is doing is changing the bass at the bottom, you know, the darker, you know, uh, keys in it even though he's changing that you lightly hear that arpeggiation then our, that arpeggiation is taken over by the strings Dude, you saw me going dee, 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 which is really really super cool beautiful voice on this i think that's a that's a that's a staple and it's a paramount thing in a lot of action video games and stuff are voices you know i'm learning a lot about the different languages and all this sort of stuff but i love the voice the voice tone and the arrangement of these these like beautiful whole notes that are just hanging out there and dangling and stuff <coughs> excuse me 
Then we get into um, where I'm hearing the viol that beautiful violin take. I mean, ah, I love it when I hear organic, real life instrumentation. That was wonderful. But then also something else that was there, but very uniquely engineered is there's a, an acoustic guitar. And we can hear the strumming. A lot of times acoustic guitars, when it's put behind bigger arrangements like this, the, uh, the uh, rhythmical aspect of the strumming is just as important at the core as the chords you know the guitar player is playing but it is kind of a pinch down mono sound so it's kind of back there and we just heard it kind of stand out here because everything dropped out except the guitar and some of the voices and stuff very powerful very moving that it's a nice little fade uh, that was really really super cool as dark and heavy of a composition uh, as it was now once again because I don't know what it's being um, written for the scene that's happening there it's obviously a heavy thing um, one of the things obviously is when I heard that distorted guitar come in I thought for a second I was gonna you know we were gonna climax into a build where maybe we'd hear some storm drums or something but that didn't happen. But I love the, the, the purposeful decision to do that to probably in against the scene or in the story of the music that's, you know, escorting visuals. That edginess of introducing that distorted guitar, even, even if as it's pulled back in the mix, it's not like your traditional metal mixed, you know, punchy guitar in your face, but using that as a texture in that particular zone probably has a lot to do with what's happening uh, in the game but I love that too because everything that we heard so far was very more or, uh, live organic organic or hybrid orchestral orchestral works and then you throw in a distorted guitar that gives you that's kind of like that you know maybe ripping an old wound open slowly kind of thing or taking that band-aid off kind of slowly there and um, and I love the ending the ending there we go again with that really kind of really squashed thin guitar sound uh, but one, one thing that I'm beginning to learn about listening to music when it comes to games and stuff is that um, uh, they don't follow any kind of standard structure of compositions when it comes, well, thus far in my journey, uh, to songwriting, you know, intro, this, hook, bing, bang, bing, bang. It, it's really kind of an emotion. It's a score. You know, it's, 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 it's much more of a score than it is, even though this is considered, I guess, a song in the video. You guys, I mean, in the video game. So you guys tell me. Anyhow, this was great. I was busy today. I just dropped another video on my heavy metal channel. I got this one. And uh, so now I get to celebrate. A, a, I said, like I said on my other one, there's a new swell coming in. So I'm going to go uh, check the surf and go paddle out. You guys take care. Have a killer day. Thank you so much for your suggestions. Hanging in there. If you want to support me in the channel, buy me a cup of coffee or something. The links are all down below. By the way, if you do buy me a cup of coffee, it also helps what I do. I'm a children's hospital entertainer. I'm a ventriloquist. I got puppets and stuff. And it helps what I do with that as well. kind of goes a little towards that. So consider that. Link for that down there also. All right, guys. Take care. See ya.